But when he's, here's what he's been doing. It starts through the internet, and he gets into churches. But now of late, one of two things has been added to it. He, people are joining churches, King James Bible-believing, independent Baptist churches, then proselyting members and sending them off to his church in Phoenix. His church is growing not from his door knocking in Phoenix. Uh, if you listen to the testimonies, people are saying, I drove 1,500 miles or drove 1,000 miles to be here because they're being proselyted. That's called sheep stealing. And any pastor should be bothered with that. Uh, about three weeks ago, I got a, a call from a pastor in Canada. He said they just finished a big uh, teen week, and a nice young couple showed up uh, Sunday morning that they had this teen display. Uh, everything seemed fine. That night, uh, the family came back and began unsolicited, just passing out Stephen Anderson uh, DVDs. And this pastor confronted him and told him not to do it, told him he didn't agree with uh, Anderson's uh, heresies. And so the guy left, and then to kind of be in your face, and I will hurt your church anyway, the next Sunday, two other families showed up out of the blue and started doing the same thing. Now, you know there was collusion. Uh, do I say that Stephen Anderson told them directly to do that? Uh, I can't say that, except that I do know what he says when he's in, if you're in a church, uh, don't leave it, pass my stuff out. So uh, this guy is stealing sheep. Um, I tell folks, uh, I call my, my minister a friend to churches. I want to be a friend to churches. And if you visit ten shepherds, and all ten shepherds independently say, this wolf is killing my sheep, and you find out it's the same wolf, somebody needs to go wolf hunting.